Welcome to the Run to the Top podcast, Dr. Stan. Uh, I, I can tell you my own experience. Uh, the, the best coaches are much more interested in sports psychology mm -hmm. as well as the best athletes are versus the folks who aren't doing as well. Because what you see is people who are who get to the top at whatever they do, whether it be sport or business, they have a curiosity about them. They have an openness about them that most people don't have. And that's one of the reasons why they're so successful is they're constantly learning, uh, constantly curious about what's next, what they can add to their arsenal, um, you know, what the things that they can do to help themselves. Okay. So repetitive thought becomes belief. In other words, repetitive thought is done at a conscious level and belief is at an unconscious level. So there's these things that you, that, that all athletes, all runners, they hold as true about themselves or about their ability as a runner, right? So you call it a belief, mm -hmm. but it's something you hold as true and they don't even know that they hold it as a truth. Uh, it'd be, it'd be kind of like as a runner, you know, you can think about making your body run and you can also have the thought of your body's just running on its own, you know? So is my body running because I'm making it run? And so, so the one thing that I would, you know, say to those folks listen is, is, is look at your, your training and what you're doing and just notice how frequently you engage in a workout that's, that's really difficult and one that may be, maybe you can't complete it or you can't complete it in the prescribed times.